Morning everybody. I'm just going to do a quick video this morning on um, a simple sugar craving tapping um, technique. I'm going to be running a food relationship and body image webinar workshop from the 4th of October um, simply because you know so many of us have got a challenging relationship with food and we blame ourselves. We think that we don't have enough willpower um, you know, we'll look at everybody around us and, you know, why can they, you know, monitor what they eat and all these kind of things. And actually, it's not about our willpower, it's about our subconscious overtaking our conscious brain, which will always drive our behaviours and our thought patterns. So there will be a, a lot of um, deep diving into the, the different parts of this and the facets of how we've got to where we are. When it comes to food but we're just going to start with a very very simple just sugar craving tapping okay and you know not everybody craves sugar it could be cheese it could be crisp it could be something savory so if that is what it is for you please just change the wording in your own head okay even though i seem to crave sugar all of the time i deeply and truly love trust and honor how i'm feeling even though I crave sugar all of the time, I deeply and truly love, trust and accept myself. And even though I seem to always need sugar in times of stress, depression, fatigue, anxiety, any time where I'm not feeling 100%, I deeply and truly love, trust and honour how I am feeling. This sugar craving. 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 I get so stressed and I think the only thing that's going to help is sugar to give me a boost, to give me some energy, to help me feel better. I always turn to sugar because I think it's going to make me feel better. It never seems quite to do that. In fact, I often end up feeling worse. I feel more tired, sometimes a little bit sick. And then I judge myself. How could I have been so silly to eat all that sugar? Why do I keep doing this to myself? Why do I keep doing this when I know it's not the right thing to do and it's going to make me sick? This sugar. And I tell myself I'm only going to have one. And then suddenly the whole packet's gone. And I don't even remember eating the whole packet. It's just gone. And then I'm so hard on myself. Judging myself. I say really nasty things to myself. I just wish I knew how to stop. But maybe I can stop. Maybe I can see that the sugar doesn't give me energy. Maybe I can see that I'm tired for another reason. And there's something else that can make me feel better. Maybe I can choose peace. Peace in my head. Peace in my body. And maybe I don't need that sugar. Maybe I just need to work out what exactly I need to resolve. and find some peace. Calmness in my body, calmness in my brain. 
I don't have to distract myself with sugar. I can choose peace. I can choose to put myself first. Maybe take some time out during the day. Go and grab five minutes in the bathroom and just focus on me. And then maybe I won't need the sugar. Maybe I can get through the day in the evening without having to go and get that packet of biscuits or that chocolate or those Haribo, Haribo sweeties. Maybe I just need more time to myself to feel peace, peace in my mind, peace in my body and feel good in my body, feeling safe in my body, feeling gratitude for my body and feeling good about my body and feeling good about myself. And a breath. Good. Okay. Let me know in the comments below how that went. Um, that was a very quick, very, very general um, tapping on sugar or food cravings in general. Um, good to see you all today. Thanks for watching. And remember, take your power back.